first video of 2018. It's sort of like 2017 died and regenerated into 2018. Almost like a Wolverine. Or, you know, like a Time Lord. But this isn't a Doctor Who book. Released in 1982, written by Chris Claremont, with art by Frank Miller. Don't worry, this is still when it was pretty good. This is Wolverine. And yes, this is what the 2013 film The Wolverine is based off of. The book opens up with the classic, I'm the best there is at what I do, but what I do best isn't very nice. In the Canadian Rockies, Wolverine is tracking down a big-ass feral bear, and he finds the cave, heads inside, and is greeted by the bear charging right at him. So he snicks and cuts the bear's leg off. Then he jumps on it and kills it. With the bear dead, Logan finds an arrow in its back. The arrow is an illegal barbed point with poison on it, which is why the bear went on a murderous rampage. So Wolverine heads in the town to find the owner of the arrow, and he sniffs the scent of the guy and walks up to him and is like, Hey bub, I'm here about the bear you shot. So the man slams his beer mug into Wolverine's face, and Wolverine's like, <sighs> I'll let him live. Cut to Japan. Logan is with an old friend, Asano, after he got stopped by immigration at the airport. Logan is trying to get a hold of this woman named Mariko, who he used to be with, until she was married off to some schmuck after her father reappeared years after disappearing. Logan gets rather upset by this fact and suits up and leaves Asano. Cut to the Yoshida residence. Wolverine sneaks inside and finds Mariko near a giant Buddha statue. Mariko tells him that she is now married and that he has to leave, but Logan says he won't accept that, and he turns her around to find her face very bruised. Logan tells her that any court will grant a divorce, but she says that she will not and cannot leave her husband because of honor or something. Then Mariko's husband shows up and is like, What are you doing here? I guess I gotta beat you and put you in your place, woman! Wolverine grabs her and brings his claws out, but is stopped by Mariko. So, Wolverine leaves. But as he does, he's hit by some shurikens. Some poison shurikens! Logan finally awakens, weakened by the poison, to find two sumo wrestlers, Marco and her husband, and Marco's father, Lord Shinjin. Shinjin calls Logan a gaijin, which means non-Japanese, and challenges him to a duel. During the fight, Shinjin hits Logan's pressure points that can either instantly paralyze or kill someone. So Logan's like, fuck this, and brings out his claws. Unfortunately, Marco didn't know what her father was doing, so Logan became comes disgraced and wakes up in an alley. As he's waking up, some thugs come up to him and are like, We're gonna kill you, Guy Jen, and keep our country pure! Then, they raise their weapons, and Logan just kills him. As he's trying to stand up, a woman grabs him, calls him lover, and says that he's hers for now and forever. Hey, that rhymed. Wolverine blacks out again and wakes up in a room with the woman and a bunch of hand ninjas. So, obviously, Logan jumps out of the window, bringing most of the ninjas with him, only to find that outside, there are even more ninjas! So, Wolverine and the woman... Wait, did... Did Frank forget to draw her in the splash page? Hey, you know, whatever, the page is pretty dope, I'll let it slide. This time only, Frank! So, Wolverine and the woman, Yukio, jump onto the rooftops and begin fighting the hand. Amid the bloodshed, Wolverine sees Yukio get surrounded, so he snicks his claws and pounces on them, sending them all off the roof. And as the police arrive, Yukio and Wolverine run off, and later they're in Logan's hotel room. Yukio is checking his wounds, and she then learns about his whole regenerating thing. Yukio tells Logan that the hand is after her because their boss is some crime lord who wants to expand his influence, but Yukio ain't having any of it. Also, Yukio is like basically an insane fangirl of Wolverine. So that night, Wolverine and Yukio infiltrate the castle because Yukio is going there to kill the head of all the hand ninjas or something. Wolverine and Yukio find the target along with his wife and Mariko and Noboru, her crime lord husband. Apparently, they are going to watch a play before the discussions. And as the lead actor draws his katana, Logan realizes what's about to happen. And the lead leaps into the audience with his sword drawn as Logan jumps at him. They each cut each other midair, 
But guess who lives? Logan lands on the stage and fights the other stage actors while the target and his wife run away, only to get blown up by Yukio. Back inside, Logan kills the last attacker as Mariko watches in horror. Then she turns around and leaves. And from behind the stage, Yukio's like, Haha, yes, Logan-san will be mine! Everything's coming up, Yukio! Sometime later, Wolverine is fighting some fat Japanese man in some smoky and dingy bar. After he wins the fight, Wolverine and his new girlfriend Yukio leave, only to find Asano sitting outside waiting for him. Asano, being an old friend of Logan, has come to him because someone has seized control of the entire Japanese criminal underworld. And this person will effectively control the entire country. But Logan tells him to fuck off. As Logan and Yukio drunkenly walk down an alley, the hand stalks them from above. They get to a train station and Yukio's like, Come, my love, there's so much to do. Then they fall onto the tracks and start making out when a fucking bullet train comes. Luckily, they were able to jump out in time. And Logan asks what the fuck is wrong with her. And Yukio tells him that she will die eventually and she just wants to live every moment to the fullest and die spectacularly. Totally not crazy. God, it's like she's draped in a red flag. Then Logan falls asleep. And... We enter... The Dream World! In his dream, Logan imagines a ronin, a masterless samurai, in feudal Japan. He's on some mission to rescue the woman he loves, who just so happens to be named Mariko. As the man attacks the castle, he and his horse are shot down with a shit ton of arrows. The man crawls himself into the castle and finds his love only for her to shoot him down with an arrow. Later that night, or maybe like the next morning, Logan, who has finally woken up, heads to his hotel room. He goes inside and finds the dead body of Asano with a knife in his neck. Logan inspects the blade and realizes that it's one of Yukio's. But he also realizes that on the blade is the same poison that was used on him when he first arrived. From behind Logan, Yukio appears, jumps out of the window, and Logan follows. They race across the rooftops until Logan throws the blade into her shoulder, and as he is about to claw her, an arrow flies through his arm. Then the hand appears, and they throw like bolas or something around his arms and legs to hold him down. But Logan yanks the ropes and pulls the ninjas to him and just fucking kills them all. And after the fight, Logan sees that Yukio has fled. Logan then, he, he basically realizes that it's just this whole thing of, should he be a bloodthirsty animal who kills, i.e. Yukio, or should he be tamed and be a man, i.e. Mariko? And Logan finally realizes that he is a man, because he questions, he dreams, he strives, changes, grows, all the things an animal can't do. Shinjin took his dreams from him, and now he's going to get him back. Later in his hotel room, Logan suits up with a shit ton of weapons he stole off the ninjas and lights a cigar. Later at the Yoshida castle, Yukio infiltrates but is caught in a fucking net. Yukio is brought to Shinjin when Maruko enters the room. Shinjin tells Maruko that she and Yukio have something in common. A weird attraction for the Gaijin. I mean, can you blame them? Then, Shinjin cuts Yukio free and tells her to attack him if she dares. Then he just fucking punches her in the stomach and kicks her in the face before Mariko begs him to stop. And over Shinjin's little radio thing, he is alerted that Wolverine has arrived. Noboru grabs Mariko and pulls out a gun and runs away. Unfortunately, he runs right into Wolverine. Noboru then puts the gun to Mariko's head and says if Wolverine gets any closer, he'll blow her brains out. Then Wolverine runs towards him and he slams his claws deep into Noboru. In some dark room, Shinjin grabs a katana when Logan sneaks behind him and asks if he is worthy now. So Logan and Shinjin fight, blade against blade. The fight goes on for many pages before Logan grabs the katana, blade first, places his fist in front of Shinjin's face, and releases his claws. Then Mariko walks in. She grabs her father's sword and tells Logan the history of the Yoshida family sword of honor. She says her father brought shame to her family and gives it to Logan, but Logan tells her that he is is unworthy, but Mariko's like, nah, you're good. Cut to Westchester, New York. 
The X-Men get an invitation to Logan and Mariko's wedding! Yay! Later in the land of Japan... The X-Men arrive and are welcomed by Logan and Mariko. And look, Rogue is with them. And if you don't know, Rogue used to be a villain, but later she reformed and joined the X-Men. Meanwhile, across the street, the Silver Samurai watches the building. And from behind him, Yukio attacks, and Logan hears her kick and has Kurt Wagner, aka Nightcrawler, bamf him across the street. Logan dives down to attack the samurai, but he disappears, and Logan flies off the roof. Luckily, Kurt bamps him back up, only to find Yukio has fled. Later, the X-Men discuss the Silver Samurai and his master, Viper, and why he was watching them. Storm asks if there is any connection between Logan and Mariko and Silver Samurai, and Logan theorizes that Shinjin might have been working with Viper. Then, Colossus asks if Shinjin can be stopped, but Logan tells him that it's already taken care of. And Colossus says, Oh, that is great. Now we can question him in prison, where he surely is. And Kurt's like, Yeah, I don't think so. And then Kitty calls him a fuzzy elf before realizing what he means. Later that night, Viper sneaks inside the building and makes her way to the kitchen. A little while later, the X-Men, Sans Storm, all drink some tea and pass out. And down on the street, Mariko gets in a car driven by Yukio. Mariko instructs Yukio to take her to a warehouse on the waterfront. So later at the waterfront, Mariko enters a warehouse and finds Viper, Silver Samurai, and some old man who runs the Yakuza or something. Then it's revealed that Silver Samurai is actually Mariko's half-brother. Basically, Silver Samurai is pissed that Mariko's taken over the clan, not him. Then Mariko rips off her wig to reveal it's actually Yukio, and Yukio and Samurai fight as Viper races outside to find Mariko. Unfortunately, she just finds Storm, who blows her into a barrel. Storm flies inside and uses all of her power to lightning blast Samurai, which, like, burns her maybe? I'm not entirely sure what effect this is trying to convey, but then the whole warehouse blows up, and once they get back to land, they witness Silver Samurai carry Viper's unconscious body out of the flames. Across the town, the X-Men are in the hospital for the poison tea, and Logan wakes up and tells Mariko he's going after Samurai, and Rogue tells him she's coming with him. Cut to some bar! Rogue and Wolverine have beaten the shit out of everybody, and now Logan is interrogating some guy on how he can find the Silver Samurai. And the guy basically says he needs to go find the Yakuza boss. So, at the Yakuza boss's estate, Rogue and Wolverine sneak in, only to find him long dead. Back at the hospital, Viper leads some ninjas to the room where Mariko and the X-Men are. But luckily, Rogue flies through the doors, grabs all the ninjas, and drops them outside, and begins to fight them. Then Logan walks out the doors and fights Silver Samurai. They fight for a few pages, but Logan gets the drop on him and is about to kill him when Mariko stops him. That's like the third fucking time she stops someone from killing someone else. Then Viper holds a gun to the two and orders them to stand away from him. Silver Samurai gets up and tries to go to her, but he falls. And Viper gets angry and fires the gun at Mariko, but Rogue takes the shot. And then Viper activates, like, the, the hyper gun option or something and just blasts Rogue with a big ass beam until her gun literally falls apart. Wolverine runs back out to find Rogue dying in the hall and Viper and Samurai teleporting away. Then to save her life, Wolverine kisses Rogue to thank her for saving Mariko. Because you know he has the healing factor, not because he wanted to kiss Rogue. Lucky bastard. An unspecified amount of time later, Mariko is in the garden, getting ready for her wedding, when a mysterious man appears. And then Mariko, like, loses time or something, and she regains her senses and heads back inside. As Mariko walks into the hall, she stops in front of Logan and says there will be no wedding. Logan asks why, and she responds, because Gaijin... You are not worthy. So, Logan silently stands up to leave the room as Mariko leaves the other way, finding a mysterious man on the other side. And as Logan leaves the hall, a tear begins to roll down his face. The end. <laughs> <laughs>